YouTube, what's good? What's cracking, man? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. I'm your fashion and fragrance aficionado. <laughs> so if you love looking good and smelling great, I think you have found the right channel. I think you will enjoy the content here because I talk to gentlemen about how they can look their best and smell their best every day. So you can get out there and really win, man. So subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell icon as well. So when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So on today's video, guys, I want to be jumping into a topic that I kind of covered in a YouTube short that I did. And I really liked the concept of the video, so I wanted to extend it and do a, do a full video. And the fragrance uh, title was called, the video title, I'm sorry, was called Fragrances to Wear to Not Smell Like Her Ex uh, on a First Date. Listen, so a woman has said, hey, I want, I'm going to allow you to take me out on a first date. So you've got the first part down. You got the opportunity. Now it's time to seal the deal. And in my opinion, sometimes, sometimes the worst thing that you can do is show up and do something or wear something that's going to remind her of her ex. Now, obviously, she's uh, he's her ex for a reason, right? So well, we don't want to bring back those, conjure up those memories of somebody else. And I'm going to tell you that certain fragrances, guys, as much as I love them, if you wear them, these are fragrances that guys typically wear. Like the average dude that doesn't know much about fragrances is not invested into this hobby like some of us are there are certain fragrances that just most people know about i mean seems like everybody that i run into come into contact with knows about dior survives versace arrows right these kind of scent profiles ysly these kind of scent profiles are fragrances that everybody everybody has these so i'm going to kind of give you guys five fragrance recommendations that her ex probably didn't wear because <laughs> you'll see why in just a moment the typical guys don't wear these scents, right? They don't even know about them. So we're going to jump into it. If you want to see what I have on the list, you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Like I said, if you did not see my short video, make sure you check that out because I have five different fragrances on there. So I'm going to give you five additional fragrances on this list. And like I said, I'm pretty confident that her ex didn't wear these fragrances at any point in time in his life. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first fragrance up today, guys, this fragrance comes from a brand called Mind Games. And... Honestly, I could do a video with just a set of mind game fragrances themselves and compile a list like this, but we will start with this one and it is called Jadoub. This one is called Jadoub. And what you're really gonna get with this, some of the main notes to my nose, mandarin orange, pomegranate, and there's kind of some ambery nuances on the dry down as well, but the main note to my nose is the pomegranate. This is really the base of this fragrance and like i said before when i've talked about this fragrance previously to me pomegranate is a note that i would kind of pair and i'll put in the same category as plum fig these are some notes that really give a really sexy more seductive kind of nuance to a fragrance and that's what you really get with this fragrance guys listen if you've not put your nose on this do yourself a favor and check out jadu now again like i said before I could go down a list of fragrances that I have sampled or have in my collection from Mind Games that would probably fit the same profile. Double Attack, Checkmate, Grandmaster. Again, all these fragrances come to mind and they would definitely fit uh, to wear on a first date to not smell like her ex. You're going to smell unique when you wear this. This plain and simple, guys, you're going to smell unique because, number one, not a lot of guys know about this brand. Number two. A lot of guys that are not really into fragrances like that aren't going to spend this kind of money on a fragrance. They usually kind of stick to the designer stuff, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. This list is about smelling different, smelling great on a first date, and they're great date night fragrances, so they kind of fit the description. So check this one out. If you've never smelled it, I'm pretty confident you're going to like this one. From the brand of Mind Games, this is called Jadu. 
All right, now the next fragrance up that I want to talk to you guys about today is from the brand of Chanel, and this one is called Cora Mandel. Cora Mandel. Now, what you're really going to get with Cora Mandel, uh, this one is centered around, to me, two primary notes, white chocolate and patchouli. There's a lot of patchouli in this fragrance. A lot of people call this kind of a patchouli fragrance. Um, guys, think about this. Even the names of these fragrances are sexy. You do. Coromandel. <laughs> That's just a little uh, extra incentive right there. But Coromandel, man, white chocolate, the white chocolate accord. Uh, it's patchouli. It's kind of the citrusy opening, uh, bitter orange, I think, as well in here. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. Patchouli is a note that I think you're going to see that several times on this list because on my skin, patchouli is really, really sexy. It is a really sexy note. Uh, especially when you combine it in a fragrance like this with something like a white chocolate accord. You know, there's also, you know, already patchoulis that different varieties of it where people kind of say it kind of smells like a chocolatey, a cakey kind of patchouli. Uh, sometimes earthy, sometimes a little bit green. But here with the white chocolate, you would definitely say it's more of a kind of chocolatey kind of patchouli. And it's just super sexy. Get your nose on this, guys. Again, one that I know for more than likely, I'll say it that way, that her ex has not rocked. Check this out, man. It's great for a first date, man. If you're going to like a movie or something like that, throw this one on, guys. Trust your boy. From the brand of uh, Chanel, this is called Cormandel. All right, now this next fragrance is coming from a brand, or the brand, uh, Unique Luxury, and this one is called Crush On Me. So the name kind of gives it away. This is perfect for a date night. Crush on me from the brand of Uniki Luxury. And just like I just talked to you guys about before, this is a patchouli based fragrance. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is one I wouldn't spray my clothes with. All right. So spray your skin on this, but don't, don't worry about it. It's going to stick around for the duration of your date because this thing, it, this thing is in a straight to perform and it performs like a beast. All right. So you don't need to go heavy on the trigger on this one, guys, because this one may... It may run away if you spray too much of this because it's so such a powerful fragrance. But I would say three or four sprays is more than enough with this fragrance right here. And again, it is based around the note of patchouli. So you have patchouli in this. You also have a uh, an accord, a caramel accord uh, in this fragrance. A little bit of a freshness in the opening comes from ginger. This to kind of alleviate uh, or kind of uh, neutralize, I would say, some of the these more sweeter. Uh, more heavier, uh, darker notes that are um, embedded in this fragrance. But man, listen, patchouli caramel, the main notes that you want to uh, put into your mental Rolodex on this fragrance, and it's really sexy. It's one of those fragrances that are really sweet, but the patchouli gives it that, uh, that earthiness, slight earthiness that really makes this and rounds it out to a really sexy date night appropriate fragrance. Trust me, guys, you got to put your nose on it from the brand of Uniquely Luxury. Check this one out, man. I know her ex didn't rock this joint right here. This is called Crush On Me. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list, I gotta give one for my OGs out here, man. This one transcends. You can wear it on any type of date night situation and be sexy as I don't know what. And again, I know her ex ain't rocking this as well because it's from the brand of YSL. This is called Tuxedo. This is called Tuxedo. Guys, so what you're really gonna get with Tuxedo, man, you gotta get some coriander in here. This one also has patchouli. Patchouli and spices. There's some. There's a spicy uh, aspect going outside of the coriander. There's other spices in here as well. Uh, definitely gonna get the patchouli. This is an amazing fragrance. My God, this is so sexy, man. Again, the name tuxedo. But you, you can wear this outside of situations where, of course, you would have to wear a tuxedo. Tuxedo, more of a formal type or more of a dressed up type of. Uh, date situation, it, it extends past that, man. You can wear this more on a, a casual date as well and still really uh, get the job done with this fragrance because at the end of the day, it's just a sexy scent. And again, there's that note of patchouli uh, in this fragrance as well. I love this fragrance. So check it out from the brand of YSL. Again, guys, this is called Tuxedo. All right, guys, now this is the fragrance that I would reserve for a more dressed up type of date night. So if you're going to a, uh, a nice restaurant that requires a jacket, all right, you're going to a restaurant that requires a jacket, grab this one. 
You're gonna smell like a sexy, masculine beast in this scent right here. It's from the brand of Frederick Mall, and this is called French Lover. French Lover, guys, get your nose on this stuff. Get your nose on this stuff. This is a spicy green fragrance, woody green fragrance. That's the best way to describe it. Spicy green woody. You have some angelica in here. You have galbanum uh, in here. Uh, you have some oak moss in here as well. Again, very masculine, very sexy. There's spices in here. So I've kind of compared this fragrance to uh, Cree Spice and Wood because they kind of do the same thing. Although this one performs a little bit better as far as projection on my skin uh, than Spice and Wood. But they're very similar fragrances. Again, green, woods, and spices. This is so sexy, man. Seriously, this is so sexy. And I think more guys need to get their nose on this fragrance right here because not, in my opinion, not a lot of people talk about it. Not a lot of people talk about it. So that's how you know, more than likely, a lot of guys aren't really rocking this like this. This is so sexy, guys. You got to get your nose on it. Like I said, if you're going somewhere where you got to you gotta dress up a little bit on a date, her ex never rocked this right here. He never rocked this scent. And you need to get it in your life, man. So check it out. Get a sample of it from the brand of Frederick Mall. Again, this is called Friends Love. It. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I gave you five fragrances today. And if you want to see an additional five, make sure you take, check out the YouTube short um, that I put out maybe about two weeks ago to get five additional uh, options and selections as well. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch what you do. And from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Gary, and I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.